Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. Uh, salam sejahtera. Uh, okay, so the third video for the experiment is for experiment 4. Okay, voltage regulator using an M7805 and an M7905 which is this is the chip of the voltage regulator. Okay, so originally uh, this is a uh, experimental um, experimental experiment experimental uh, lab but now we change to simulation lab okay so for this uh, lab I will use uh, Proteus software okay so if you want the Proteus software I have the installer okay so you or you can download it from the internet okay so uh, there is only one uh, circuit in this lab. Okay. So if you can see, the circuit is com combination of the two voltage regulator, but you will do one by one. But I will only show you for the LM087805. Uh, okay, so let's open the Proteus 8 Professional. So this is the Proteus 8 Professional. Uh, so you can click this schematic capture to open a new project. Okay. So this is the schematic capture. Okay. So if you can see, we have the voltage supply, transformer, bridge rectifier, capacitor, and also the chip of the voltage regulator and also the resistor. Okay. For the BSC design, at least design can find design here. Okay, in the component mode and place part. Okay, and then transformer. Transformer. So, there is a few type, but I will choose the center tab because we have the center tab transformer here on the lab in the lab sheet. And then the bridge rectifier is bridge. Okay, so you can use the generic one. So, bridge 5. And then we have the C capacitor, C cap. Still also you can use the generic one sorry for the capacitor you have to find the uh, 100 micro with 16 volt okay 100 micro with 16 volt here I have the uh, serial number already B45 196 H31 Zero seven. Okay, so I will use the ten percent of SMD. Okay, I I will put two, and then we have the seven eight zero five is the voltage regulator. Um, positive uh, power supply regulator. Okay, so we want to have a fixed voltage uh, voltage of five volt. And lastly, the resistor. Okay, resistor, you can use the ordinary resistor. It's a generic one. Okay. So, resistor, you will use one. Okay. Now, I want to arrange the component. So, this one, okay, okay, okay. This one, you have to rotate. And this one also we need to rotate. Okay, you can bring down a bit the capacitor. Okay, okay so do the connection. Okay. 
let's put this there. And then we have the connection from the negative side pole of the uh, center tab and capacitor from here. Okay, for the wire for protest, you just click the comp between the component and then the wire is will come out automatically. Okay, for this, for the ground, you will have connection between C to the number 2 pin of voltage regulator and to the resistor. Resistor is as your load. Okay, actually this circuit the full circuit is the uh, voltage supply uh, to produce a fixed uh, positive power supply. Okay, so now I want to change the value of the AC to 10 volt and the frequency is 1000 hertz. Okay, okay we want to have uh, the voltage here, the voltage of Output is 5 volt and C is 100 micro and R is 1 kilo ohm. So we change to 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So uh, we're gonna need the crown, one here and one here. So, um, for this, I will observe three pi of voltage. Okay, three pi. One is so we take the voltage marker first. One is here the input. Okay. One is here positive of the transformer. Uh, and then the output on the pin number 3 of the voltage regulator. Okay, so how to uh, observe the output? You go to the graph mode and take the analog. So you draw the graph here. Okay, it's up to you if, 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 what size you want. And then draw another one for the transformer output. Okay. So in your lab sheet, transformer output is 6 volt, but it doesn't matter uh, because uh, the 6 volt, uh, you can, you have to vary the value of input so that you can get 5 volt of output here. Okay. So this one is the output. So how to do it? You just run. You can see here. Okay. Run the simulation. So it, as you can see, there is a voltage value here. Okay, input. Okay. The output of uh, transformer and the output of the voltage regulator. If you can see, it's almost five, four point nine seven. Okay. Now we want to see graph. Okay. So this one, you right click, you simulate graph. Okay, and then wait until the simulation done. Okay, now right click, maximus, maximize show windows, and you can zoom. Okay, to see the clearer. So this is the graph of the input. Okay, ten volt peak, and one kilohertz of uh, cycle. And do the same to the uh, soft as uh, to the transformer. Okay, and maximize. So this one you will have two graph, positive cycle and the negative cycle. Okay, 
So positive cycle is the green one and the negative cycle is red one. Right, so this one is seven, almost seven. No, seven point zero five. Okay. Big. And another one is the important one is the output. Okay. You must get five volt or almost five volt. Okay, so this one is 4.97. Okay, you can see the answer here. Okay, put the cursor. You can see the answer here. Okay. So, for, the, for your lab sheet, I want you to save this. We Save for this three uh, graph. So this one you can export graphic bitmap display file name. You find the okay. So I have to do the lab four. So this one is input. So this one you can save also as the so you have to change the name oh, my name let four Transformer. Okay, save and also output of the voltage regulator. Output voltage regulator. Okay, so three graph and also I want you to screenshot this. So you mark the output area first so that you can include only the and then export graph export to PDF. Okay, so this one is gen generated to the PDF. Okay, this one also you have to save for your um, lab report and please do for 7905. Okay, you will get the negative 5 uh, voltage uh, DC. Okay, so good luck and thank you for your attention.